hey guys welcome to another tutorial this is kind of a different tutorial today i want to teach you how to make a to-do application in react i'm not using vs code i'm using code sandbox just to get a live preview of how react is working and also i did not need to get all the packages downloaded and stuff so the way it works is when you click on this button it asks you for a prompt so just say uh, just say make videos click on ok it's going to create a listed item with the name and delete button can also add another one i'll just say another one when you click it it's going to delete a single uh, each and every list item so this is mainly based around for beginners i'm also learning react so i wanted to expand my knowledge as well so if you guys are beginners you might find it uh, very helpful but even if, if you guys are intermediate it's fine so the first thing we want to do is uh, uh, go to code sandbox i'm going to be clicking on react I leave a link to this right in the description down below in case you guys cannot find it for some reason or whatever. Uh, just makes the live preview more easier. So first of all, you greet up with app.js. You wanna go to app.js. If you can't find this, in case you greet up with index.js. Yeah, what you need to do is go down to files, click on source right here, and click on app.js. I'm gonna be closing this just so we can see the preview properly. Uh, so here we just have a normal react uh, boilerplate just normal code I'm going to be deleting it I'm going to be doing it from the ground up so we're going to be using classes for this instead of like the functions uh, so the first thing is I'm going to say class app because that's what we're going to be exporting just don't take care of the errors because it just uh, updates it lively so we want to extend it to react dot component and we, are, we also want to use a constructor we are not passing any props uh, we are not using any props so we are not passing it also also want to put super so we are also going to be doing some state but not right now some uh, we will be doing it later we also want to export it so we won't face any problems as we go through uh, export default app export default app uh, I wanna get that as um, so here we wanna render and return so that's how you uh, render uh, this is the way you put in order to get code out of uh, react so the first thing you wanna do to wrap it up is to create a div um, so you put that div right there so inside that div we are gonna be making a button and then after, uh, as we go we'll be making an li and stuff like that uh, so the first thing i'm gonna have is a button so i'll have button right there no no we just have like a normal button instead of two lines so i'll say add to do this is the only thing i'm having so you wanna add so i actually want to say that if you guys like have some knowledge of react you will be able to find this helpful because uh, you know that advanced and can't explain everything so uh, let's continue so i want to add an on click attribute i want to say i want to put an arrow function right here and i want to say what do i want to say add to do which is going to be the method we are going to be using mm, sorry uh, add to do i want to say this dot add to do so that's like the function we're going to be using so i'll put add to do right there so some of the first things we need to do uh, is as we click on the button we want uh, some allies and some to do's to be generated so what we will be doing is uh, making a state with an array so right after this super you want to say this dot state equals uh, an object and uh, then you should say to do's and then it's an empty array and right at the top like before the app you want to make a constant value saying to do's and you want to get the uh, what do you want to get you want to get the props as well that's going to be an arrow or a constant so inside that we want to return the data that we're getting from uh, the to do's so what, what do we want to return we want to return an li mm, uh, just like that mm, right in, inside this we want a span 
to get the to have the text and we also want a button to hold the delete uh, to get the delete button we'll be having an object inside that because we are going to be writing javascript uh, then i'll put a button uh, we will be dealing with the button and the text later so first of all we should uh, take care of the uh, what was it we should take care of the button okay that's a closing tag mm, right here right down here you want to make uh, you want to write some javascript so when i say this dot state dot todos dot map so we're going to be using the map function in order to map out the to do so we're, it's like a for each loop uh, for each function so we're going to be map, mapping out everything and for each and every one we're going to be using a to do uh, so uh, map out for each to do uh, use it as the arrow function and then right here what what do you want to do you want to make it kind of like a tag a to do tag it's okay if it shows kind of like an error thing so in that to do tab you want to put to do equals an object to do because we are going to be using this the all, all the properties of to do in order to kind of like access its id and stuff so we have made this uh, that there's an error because it's not defined mm, right at the top you want to make it to do and also we want to now meddle with the add to do method so what we're going to be doing is this dot set state what this does is updates the state this is the only way to update the state anyway so the way we do it is uh, when i say to do's colon uh, wait one minute when i say to do's and colon and put an array and put three dots which uh, what actually it does is it duplicates the duplicates any information there in the array so when i say this dot state dot to do's mm, this dot state dot to do's and also we want to pass the text uh, which we're going to be doing now uh, so for the add to do we don't have kind of like an input box so we need to prompt the user with an input box so you should prompt the user by saying just uh, const text equals prompt and i'm going to prompt saying enter to do so this will happen once we click on the add to do not just like normally mm. so we set the state we pass the text uh, we got that as well so right here in the span we're getting the props so the way we do it uh, is we say props dot to do dot text also inside the button we want to say delete uh, even though we are not like kind of using it right now so if we actually do refresh this i should be able to see a button and so once you click on that i'll just say hello and as you guys can see we have a hello one we also can do another one so it's going like that so now we have to meddle with the delete function so the first thing you want to do is add a property to the to do attribute or the tag that we actually now made so i'm gonna get that to the next lines so i want to say uh, i want to pass in like a random name it's not like a random name uh, obviously you can put any name you want but i'll be using on delete on delete i want to use this dot um, uh, remove um, let's say remove to do also i want to pass uh, the to do's ID in order to like kind of filter it out and get only the uh, only delete the to do with the specific ID that we have want but we do not have a ID until now so we'll actually create one now so uh, after uh, out outside the class want to make a variable not a constant because we want it to change we want it to increment every time a person inputs uh, inputs uh, a to do because we want it to be unique right uh, id so var, var id equals zero so right here where we make the uh, props i'm gonna put a comma next to the text and i'll say id colon id plus plus so every time a person clicks on it it will increment by one so now we can use the id 
so right um, right below the add to do let's make a method called remove to do uh, I'm doing this kind of fast because I'm not like I'm not sure if this is going to work so if there's any errors we could correct it out so in the remove to do we want to get the ID as a parameter and what do we want to do we want to filter this out this dot set state again and we want to set uh, set it to the to do's what do we want to do uh, to do's colon this dot state dot to do's dot filter so we want to filter every to do where the uh, to do dot id is not equals to the id that is going to be passed in so what is actually happening here so we are setting the state we are we are recreating what's actually in this to do's array right here we are recreating what's there so what we are doing to recreate it is we are setting the state where so we are checking if the deleted id that's passed in the way we are getting it is down here the way we are the id that we are getting passed in if it's equal to the id that's already there in the to do's uh, if it's clipped i'm sorry guys if the if the id that's passed in is not equals to the id that's actually there in the to do's we want to delete it we want to filter it out and get it to the arrays um if you guys are not like kind of familiar with this then make a comment down below or yeah make a comment down below i'll make sure to make kind of a video on that and so that's uh, it for the remove to do uh, until now it won't work because we have not mentioned it that it should work here in the delete button so i'll put an on click attribute saying props dot uh, what is it uh, remove to do so now it should work um, why isn't it working okay so the problem is that we have to make it an arrow function or else we have to bind it so either of that could make it work in case if you don't put that you have to bind it or else it won't work at all so it might work now so if i click on add to do if i say hi yeah it's there uh, let me also put another one saying sorry hello so if i click on uh, delay it is not working did i comment it out um, You want to see props dot on delete that's my fault guys mm, so as uh, i learn code if i click on delete it's deleting uh, also there there could be one problem that uh just say you're putting two uh to do's um uh, yeah let's just do that if you click on one to do everything uh, all the to do's might go de uh, deleted uh, the problem is that the id is not unique uh, i got the problem as well so id the id might not be unique so the id is not always equals to the id so it's true so it's deleting everything so now if we take a look it's deleting the individual ones that's about for the video guys hope you guys enjoy uh, we actually hit 130 130 subscribers hope you guys are subscribed as well i just want you guys to comment down below what's going to be your favorite project in react and i'll make a video about that as well make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't i'm i'm going to be posting at least daily or once in three days guys so if you like that we like that upload schedule make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you guys get updated on all my videos and i'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.